Well, hello boys and girls. Welcome to it. As you can see, we're on my coffee table today. And uh, it wouldn't be a coffee table without coffee. Doing a bit of a different one today. And the reason I'm doing that is because someone left their, um, their GoPro out at Hidden Vale the other weekend. So I'm doing this, which is the, uh, I wanna say top 10 to 15 things that you absolutely must carry when riding solo or riding, or just riding in general, really. This is the stuff that I carry 100% of the time whenever I go riding, um, unless it's a short ride. In that case, I might go for something like a bum bag with uh, like a multi-tool, a few bottles of water, but that's about it. So anyway, let's get to it. So the very first thing that I obviously carry on me is the bag itself, and that is the Osprey Raptor 10. It's a uh, camelback style backpack with a pretty high capacity. It can hold a 2.5 litre bladder and it's got plenty of storage. Uh, it's got a small pocket at the top here, which is handy. It's got a main pocket here that opens up all the way with little pockets and bits and places to put your things. Uh, another internal one here. It's, it's pretty good. And it's even got a little handy dandy place to put all of your tools. Sorry about the stain, that was mud. And that just rolls out. And that's where you put all your multi-tools. And that actually comes out as well, if you want it to. Um, it's great having, because uh, obviously multi-tools and the like are quite heavy. That weight is distributed right to the bottom instead of being flung around in the main cabin there. It's a great little bag, highly recommended for hot, dry Queensland, just because of the capacity for water and the like. We also have, of course, this is dependent on if you're going out to film or not, but of course I'm always filming when I go riding. So I always carry with me the Stuntman chest harness. Now this is a third party manufacturer for GoPro accessories. And I find that the way they design their products is certainly a lot better than you would get otherwise on the GoPro. I've bought the chesty in the past and the issue with the chesty is where the GoPro attaches to your chest is quite high on this sort of support plate. So you get a lot of flop back and forth. You still get it on this, but it's certainly nowhere near as bad. And this is a lot more comfortable. Highly recommended, Stuntman. Chesty. Go pick one up if you're interested in that sort of thing. This is another one that I like to carry on me. Not so much in the bag, but this is the Garmin 530. It's a uh, little GPS device, which I use to log all my mountain bike rides and just rides in general. It works great. Except for the fact that I had a crash a few months back and it kind of tore. Uh, it's a bit hard to see, but so that plastic mold essentially locks into whatever mount you're using, but I've kind of lost one side of it. So it, it holds, but it's not 100%. I went to Garmin to get a quote on replacement or even a fix. Cause you know, it's just, it's just the plastic here. That's all they need to fix and then it's solid. It still functions exactly as it should, but they quoted me, they said they couldn't fix it, which I was a bit, confused by but they said you know we'll give you a new one for three hundred dollars or maybe it was 250 uh it was a lot of money either way and i'm just gonna i was gonna see how this goes i'll probably lose it one day and that'll be that but otherwise great little device uh auto syncs to your uh trail forks and strava apps through the mobile phone i actually think i saw a notification before saying that it had connected to the mobile phone. So it's pretty seamless in that regard. Now this one's actually quite important and it's very low weight, low, uh, low impact on how much you can carry. It's just a bog standard, uh, you know, medical kit, uh, just in case someone comes off quite poorly and uh, we're out bush somewhere. That'll keep you out of trouble, hopefully. I haven't had to use it yet, but 
just in case one day I do. I know that I've got it and it's, I don't know what, it's in here. A whole bunch of stuff that you would normally have like uh, tape and uh, gauze and all sorts of things. Uh, so that's, that's the thing. I highly recommend everybody go out and buy something. Just, it doesn't matter what the brand is. Doesn't really matter what's in it, as long as there's, you know, a, a few of the basics, just go out and get something. Because if your mates, if you're riding with your mate and you come off, what are you gonna do? I mean, you can call triple zero, but well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm also not a paramedic or a doctor, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this if the situation arises. But it's good to have there regardless. Another thing I like to carry with me, and of course this isn't required for everyone because not everyone goes out with a GoPro, but I always recommend taking a few spare batteries. These are the uh, GoPro Hero 9 batteries, which are different to previous generations because of course they are, but I always carry at least two spares with me. These are quite high capacity, so I barely get onto the third one here. But I usually go through at least, I always get onto the second one, unless it's a very, very small ride. So good to have, definitely do get used. Yeah, and it's, it's great just in case you forgot to charge one of your batteries as well. Now I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I always carry some sort of snack. This one's a bit busted up because it's been sitting in my bag for a while, but something like a nut bar or a protein bar. Just put it in your bag and like if you're absolutely bonked in the middle of nowhere you've got that little bit of energy to get you back to where you need to be and if you've got a mate that's in a similar situation you know i've offered this to dan he's politely declined every time but it's good compact uh long life food that you can just chuck in your bag not worry about too much Right, and we are moving on to some more mechanical stuff now. Um, so this is a must-have for anyone, really. I've actually used this very little because it isn't the best, but get some sort of hand pump. This is the Lazine something or other pump. It's pretty rubbish, but it does the job if you need it to. It saved me a few times, but... I mean, I like how compact it is. I mean, you put that against the bag and it's tiny, but it performs quite poorly. I wouldn't recommend getting this one. I mean, if you like Lazine, this one's not bad, but it does this thing where you take out the hose and you screw it onto your, um, your valve, but it'll remove the valve core by accident because it's a screw on instead of a push and lock on. So it's a bit annoying, but definitely worth having. And then once again, on the topic of pumps, I like to carry around this. This isn't a necessary to carry, but I always carry a, um, a, what are they called? What are these called? Why, why have I gone blank? You know, sh oh, shock pump. Carry a shock pump if you like to uh, fool around with your PSI and your shocks. I'm pretty set and forget, but I have used this out on the trail and I've been to races where people have said, hey, does anyone have a shock pump? And I go, yes, I have one. Here you go, mate. So he was quite thankful because it's not something a lot of people carry, but if you do carry it and someone needs it because they've run flat on their rear, they will be very, very thankful. This is a Bont Rager. I got it when I bought the bike and it's fine. Uh, I don't really have much to compare it against, but it does the job and it's, it's a nice sort of uh, metallic feel to it and it, it pumps air in, so what more could you want? Uh, where am I gonna put this? My Tetrising here. I, I don't know anyone that doesn't run this on a big day, but you wanna carry with you some sort of multi-tool. This is, again is a Lazine, and I actually do like this one quite a bit. It has quite a lot of tools that you wouldn't normally have on uh, such a multi-tool. I haven't used all of them before, but it's got things like a serrated blade, which is handy. Um, it's got all, basically all of the Allen keys that you would need, plus a flathead, a Phillips head. I think it's even got a bottle opener somewhere, but this thing has saved me out on the trail. So um, I'll leave a link. I like this one a lot. So I'll leave a link down below in the description uh, if you wanted to pick one up. They aren't the cheapest, but for what you're getting, it's a pretty complete package. I think you can even remove chain links with this. Oh yes, you can here. 
So that's brilliant. How many multi-tools do that? And then in a similar vein, this kind of lines up a bit more with uh, the medical kit here. I like to carry just a sort of pocket knife with me that doesn't have to be a certain brand. You know, it's got things like a, a, uh, like a sharp blade, you know, for when someone wants to uh, try and sell you on e-bikes, you go, no, stay back. I don't want to talk about e-bikes. Jokes aside, very handy. I haven't had to use a lot in a similar, oh, there you go, there's a bottle opener, what more do you need? I haven't had to use it very much, um, just because it's more of a, it, this is this is more specialized to mountain bikes. This has all your Allen keys and stuff, this is more like, uh, hey, I need to cut something, it's got some scissors on it, or it's got, um, it's got an actual, probably more solid, we could use it as a flathead, I don't know, it's got stuff, don't use it that much, but it's kind of peace of mind thing. I like to have it with me. Mm, coffee. And zip ties, baby. Do I need to say anything else? Just put some in. They like nothing. Very handy. Put them in your bag. No discussion. Obviously, we've got a puncture repair kit. This is just the one from 99. It, they're all the same. Doesn't matter what brand. I mean, I think they even all have the same little squeezy bit of rubber solution in them. Um, you know, you roughen up the spot that you need to fix, fix on your uh, tube, you put some of this on, and then you slap one of those bad boys on, and off you go. There's not much to it. Once again, super light, just put it in your bag. Don't be silly. People still run tubes, and if you find someone, once again, in the middle of the bush, and they have a flat, but they don't have one of these for whatever reason, you'll be there to save the day. Put it in your bag. And then in a similar vein to that, I've also carried this, which is a uh, bacon strip kit that includes your uh, applicator, you know, jam the stri uh, bacon strips in with this. Uh, if, you're, if you get a sidewall flat or uh, some sort of cut to your tire, which did happen to me the other day, but of course I didn't have this tool on me because I'm a fool. Um, and obviously that also includes the, the bacon strips as well. Very handy to have, especially if you have tubeless and you not don't have a tube immediately available to you. Yeah, once again, lightweight, pop it in your bag, forget about it until you need it. This one's a bit uh, topical of the times, but it's always good to carry just a, a spare disposable face mask. You never really know when you're going to need it and you don't want to be caught without one. Doomsday's happened, so you keep that in your bag because it weighs nothing. I think it weighs less than the, uh, the zip ties do. Apologies, I forgot to talk about this one. I was going to talk about it when uh, I was talking about the puncture repair kit. Obviously, tire levers. I mean, how can you not have these? These are also incredibly light. These are, now the key with these is you want to get ones that are a nice, hard, solid plastic. Don't go for the metal ones for the simple fact that when you leverage your tires uh, against the rim, metal can rub and damage the rim quite a bit. So I always go for plastic. I haven't had these break on me. I have had ones break in the past, but these ones are solid. They're quite thick, actually, and they don't really flex too much. Yeah, solid. Always take two of you, so you can actually get a tire off if you need to. Uh, uh, put it here. Band-aid. Just a loose one, somewhere in your bag. I like to carry these around with me in a little bag. I just got these from the bike shop. These are just little valve cores, if you can see that. Uh, just in case one of them gets clogged up with sealant. I think three is overkill, but whatever, I don't care. I've had that happen before where I've had a lot of issues trying to inflate the tire because it was just chock full of tire sealant. So you replace it, you put a new one in, these cost like, I don't know, three bucks each or something like that. Pop it in, pump up the tire and you're good to go. No more worries about trying to get that tire inflated. Personally, I like to run, you know, just the odd, have a few extra spare GoPro accessories. This is actually the mount that came with my helmet, uh, my blue helmet. I've never used it because I don't really, I'm not really interested in that perspective too much, but it's good to have just in case I want to mix it up. 
And then of course you got your extra GoPro screw. Always handy to have an extra one. Yeah, lightweight, may as well. Another thing that I like to carry with me on big rides is a spare bottle of liquid. Any will really do, but I'm a big fan of the Camelback range. Just the ease of access, you squeeze the bottle and you turn it upside down, you squeeze the bottle, like, it won't come out now. As I, like, hover it over the electronics and batteries, it won't come out until you squeeze it. It's a brilliant design, I love it. But I like to, now obviously I've got the 2.5 liters of water in my back. I like to carry this around because I like to mix it with some of this. Ooh, if I can get it all on camera. So this is a mob uh, called Infinite Nutrition. And they're up on the sunny coast. And they specialize in uh, custom made, you know, uh, sports mix essentially. Uh, stuff to keep you hydrated, stuff to keep your carbs up and your uh, sodium up. Uh, this is a special blend that I got mixed up for me. Chocolate, all gluten free as well, which is a big plus in my books. Yeah, these are actually the guys that make the mix for the, um, all the Hidden Veil vale events. So you've got the 24 hour event and the Hidden Veil vale Epic. So whenever you fill up your bottles at those events, this is what you're drinking essentially. Not chocolate though, I think they go for a lemon lime, but all the flavors are pretty nice. I've tried other brands, but these guys make the tastiest one and the price is pretty fair as well. And they'll deliver straight to your door. So love that stuff. Ooh, where can I put this? I'll pop it there. And then of course, the most important thing to carry on your ride is a helmet. This is the Bell uh, Speed Style. Oh no, sorry, it's the Bell uh, Sixer. It says right there. I like this one because it is blue and it's quite comfortable uh, with good airflow as well. And it has a lot of protection on the back for sort of more the all mountain uh, riding that I like to do. Uh, otherwise, it's got MIPS as well. It's a good helmet. It doesn't really matter what helmet you have as long as it is uh, approved for sale in Australia, which I think is a law. So, a helmet. Absolutely necessary. Don't even look at a bike without looking at your helmet first. It's so important to wear a helmet whenever you're out riding your bike. So, that's all the stuff that I ride with. What do you think? Is this too much stuff? Or is that not enough stuff? I want to hear what you guys have to say. What do you guys ride with? Do you guys go for the full pack or do you go for a fanny pack? Or do you just keep a mobile phone in your pocket and that's about it? Let me know in the comments. And uh, for all the products here, well actually maybe not all of them, I'm going to leave a link in the description that'll be to a uh, affiliate Amazon page. So if you are interested in purchasing any of this stuff, please feel free. Uh, if you do so via the links below, it helps me out with money so I can make more content uh, and I appreciate you. And of course, more content to come. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is, yeah, like I said earlier, I left my GoPro a hidden veil. So I'm missing a whole bunch of B-roll for the next video. But until then, here is a small preview of what's to come. I was a bit scared that we'd get washed out today, but it turns out we got the perfect soil. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh, it's so muddy. Anyway, guys, stay safe, have fun on the trail, and I'll catch you at the next video. Have a good one.